This title contains depictions of suicide, self-harm, abuse, trauma, and bullying that some people may find distressing. The makers did not intend whatsoever to encourage or make light of self-harm and suicide. If you feel that you are at risk of suicide or self-harm, please seek medical and or professional advice, treatment, and or support from experts in the field of suicide and self-harm prevention. If you need immediate assistance, please contact a local hotline or hospital. If you notice someone around you who appears to be struggling, try talking to them. One brave step can save lives. 988 is the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Mm -hmm. Go to 988lifeline.org. Yeah, they did change it to 988. Because oh, yeah. I, I think it used to be like an actual phone number. And then they changed it because, you know, three numbers is a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Or you could call the number... Three... Uh, uh, three, six, eight, six, seven, three, oh, nine, 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 nine,
The aim of this wide-scale project is to rebuild Kettenstadt and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new Kettenstadt. Nice, dude. Wow, what a great way... What? Our parents dreamed of this. What a great way to think of it. Wow, this place didn't suck. Plans to rebuild Kettenstadt have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> the, 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 the Backstreet Boys reunion tour has reduced interest <laughs> from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. Two attempts to rebuild, two failures. Due to unfortunate external circumstances, Kettenstadt has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. I was wondering if this was going to be taking place today. Hmm. Or not. Because I, I also, there was a part of my mind after I said that this just came out a couple days ago. Right. There was a part in my mind that was just like, is this <laughs> brand new or is this like a remade thing? Right, right. Where are you, Maya? Uh, no loop. Maya. Yeah, Maya's our friend who told us to come here. Oh, it reminds me of Fatal Fright. Whoa. Days no exit. Why am I surprised that these graphics are so you good? How my piss? <laughs> Sounded like there was a little squirt in that. Oh, I might have to wipe it. I've always been trapped. <laughs> you don't put flowers in the freezer, you idiot! You put them yeah. in the fridge. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, Dad, I said that. Are you proud of me? No. Oh. Keep out. Also, for the COVID-19 bit, I just pictured an edit of you, like, zoomed right in when I said, bleep that out, zoom out, and then another zoom in with it, like, Backstreet Boys reunion tour. <laughs> September 28th, 2021, notice of provisional meeting to all Villa residents. We have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. We hope you can find the time to attend. Nice, dude. <laughs> what? Shrek? What? I don't fucking know anymore, man. Room 202. I got my seriousness out at the beginning I with don't. the disclaimer. This is kind of actually scary. Actually fucking scary, dude. I mean, to be fair, part of what makes something scary, usually... Like, yes, yeah, some things are just objectively scary. Like politics or paying taxes. Yes, exactly. Or rent. Oh, but, uh... Musical. I just watched that the other day. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. Yeah, right? Oh, why is it so quick? But it's also newness. Really, It's a really big factor to how scary something like a movie or video game is. Oh, yeah. Don't, Don't be manipulated. Believe yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in your senses. <gasps> Spider-Man? Spidey sense? Uh, it's the Peter Tingle. Will... Repaint it all. Oh. Seems like a vaguely racist term. <laughs> I mean, if you want to put it that way. I'm just being for real. Oh, nice painting. That's a really pretty painting, yeah. Did your mom paint that? Yes. Fucking loser. Not you, but the person who made it. That's Maya's signature. She's amazing. Okay, it's not time to gush about people. Oh, God, that hurt my eyes. Oh, whoa, is this live action right now? Man, harkening back to the 90s. Boy, I love it. Let's go. Is, 
Okay, we're getting very sexual, and I'm not with it. It um, is. What game is this? Uh, Silent Hill Insured Message. Oh, that's interesting. As you can tell, everyone, I just Don't got back. Yeah. <gasps> Are we getting keys? <laughs> that's not a computer charger. Look, You've seen that before, Robert. Where's her thumb? Yes. Where's her thumb? Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Splash! For graffiti artists, spray paint and blank wall are all you need. In Kettenstadt, the walls of a particular apartment building are the canvas for several artists with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star CB features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is CB, which is short for cherry blossom. CB's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for comment. Keeping her eyes fixed on her new piece, she had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. Like Texas. CB, <laughs> CB added that the flowers she depicts on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desires to do so. As far as they bear, that's an animal. Good job, Zane. Yeah. It did... I did it! Oh my god, I'm so fucking horny! Okay, no. Nothing changed. Oh god! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a little loud. It's just like the mouse that was above your head. Like, apparently. Supposedly. Sick. Allegedly. Yeah. Oh, is that oh, blood spatter? That's, that's my underwear right now. <laughs> is the door locked? No. Oh, okay. That's a bit terrifying. Nathaniel Fortescue. Oh, what's happening? Oh, <gasps> Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Well, you all right? You asleep? You still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see you at your job yesterday. Still not feeling good. You taking your meds? Don't worry. How are you doing? I'm okay. I can actually try to get some rest now. Did it make you scare you or anything? Seriously, DW about it. All's good now. I'm still a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. What? I'm a little scared to put the phone down right now. Oh, 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 oh. We gotta, we'll do this together. All three of us, we're here together. Oh, uh, dude, I almost freaked out for a second because it's almost the same time as the phone. Oh, it's like a ring situation. Except it's an hour. We're an hour ahead, almost exactly though. I can't even tell you time. I'm too stupid. Twelve or seventeen minus twelve, five. <gasps> New knowledge acquired. <laughs> yeah, if it's after 12, just subtract whatever number it is by 12. So, like, 6 o'clock is 1,800. Man, I I think I'm a pretty intelligent person, but this episode's really made me feel so stupid. Oh. 205. This is the room that was locked. Whoa. Insane, stupid, creep, crazy, loser, loser creep. Insane, creep, loser, liar. You never become... Dumb, loser, Sorry. crazy, loser, oh, no, loser. You'll never become... Insert. You'll never become anything? Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's an A. You'll never become anything. Man, that's like... What's with this place? Oh. It scared me. I know, I did for me too. <laughs> Are we live action again? No. She never said anything nice. Oh. Oh my god, this is Maya? Dude, this is what's so fucking great about Silent Hill games. Child abuse and neglect in Kettenstadt. A recent statistical survey has shown the rate of child abuse in Kettenstadt last year was nearly 
double that of the average in other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh. Man, She's gross. Sad. Why? Pervert? Stupid? You moron? Nobody Slug. cares? Holy shit. Man, this got really deep. I was about to say, there are honestly times where my head feels like this. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah, totally. She's shaved grouse. I saw her picking her nose and, and farting. Sounds like a subreddit I do not want to get into. Girls aren't supposed to do that. They don't piss or shit. Dogs are? Dogs are what? I don't know. Actually, they do piss because they squirt. <laughs> and that's just piss. Did you know that, Bobby? Thank you for... Yeah, thank you, I, thank you I, I so much. I feel like much. I just learned it not too long ago. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for the... I, okay, I, I understand that some of these phrases are hurtful. And I'm not trying to poke fun. I'm actually, if anything, I'm making fun of the people who say it. If you tell people to get lost... Yeah, get lost is a very outdated a, one, yeah, I feel you're like. you're a fucking moron. Get lost. I don't think I could even say or hear that with a serious tone. Holy shit. This it? looks so fucking similar. <laughs> Except the shower should be on the other side. Holy shit. Continuity errors. Canceled. Canceled. I'm just talking about PT. And, whoa, what is it? Tarts. I'm really bringing my A game. Okay, here. it's a water heater. That's what I thought it was. I, I guess. Oh. Heat temperature. Interesting. Too bad there's not a bidet. Yeah, I need to get one. Well, I'm having to get My friend has one, and I, I saw it, and I went, dude, I need to take a shit in your apartment sometime. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Is it gonna show it? Oh, I can't. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. This hurts so much. Okay. Oh, that did hurt. Whew, that makes me want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Again, not making fun of self harm. No, I just. Just trying it. to make light. Make light of a dark situation. Be the light you want to see in the world. Yeah. There's a lot of cocks. <laughs> No oh. Did they slit their wrists in the bathtub? I don't know. I don't like. Yeah, that's it. so fast uh, and violent. I just can't wait for the sirens to call. I'm just waiting for something to change. Oh, I, I can't. Like go back the way that I came, and then you're wasting my time. Honestly, if you tell somebody that, you, you gotta get your priorities in check. It's like, holy shit. What about you, Anita? Our name is Anita. Nice. Fuck you! Fuck you, bitch! You don't look hot! Your, your art sucks! You're ugly. Get lost! Get lost! <laughs> You're fat! <laughs> <laughs> she just says every single one of these sticky notes to Emily. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Or Amelie, rather. Those are good. What about therapy? What about it? is not really too much, to be honest. Fuck. Talking to adults. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. Oh my god. How many depressed bitches are in this game? I oh did. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my god, I just realized something. What did you just realize? The peeps that are behind the texts. Yeah. The one on the left is real. The one on the right is not. Really? <laughs> yes. You can very clearly tell that her shading is so artificial. 
and her skin is not bouncing enough light. I'm going to nerd out real quick. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so on the left, right, you see her. Yeah. Her skin is naturally radiating from either the picture that was taken or the filter they used when the picture was taken. And the one on the right has too smooth of features. Yeah, I can see that. Too much shadow. And uh, obviously, I think exhibit A would be the jacket. <coughs> kind of takes it away. Zero out of ten. Worst game ever! I was going to say... I'm just kidding. I love this game so far. It was when we first... The first time we... Maybe not the first time, but the first time that Amelie texted us. I'm pretty sure it was 546. And then the second time that she texted us, when we picked up the phone, it was 545. Editing Darren, go back and check me on that. Because it's 546 now, again, on the phone. But I'm pretty sure that was the case. Editing Darren, if you could find a poop emoji, that's fine. Or maybe it. just every time we pick up the phone, it's 545. Uh, uh, put, put the word poop. If he was right, and if he was wrong, still put the word poop, because poop's funny and it makes everybody happy. Fair enough. Thank you. You're a very valued employee. <laughs> I don't know what I pay. I pay you in love. And cigarettes. Quit whining. That's another thing, too. Uh, same with eat you shit. You suck. Eat or you shit. moron. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and live. <laughs> I don't remember what movie that's from. <laughs> Throw them off kilter. You will ne- yeah, you will never become anything. That's Did it. I ever tell you my, like, eat glass, eat shit type of insult I came up with? <laughs> no. <laughs> I I kind of hope I get to say it in our campaign now, but it was, um, it was like along those lines of just mean shit to say kind of thing. Uh, it was... Why don't you go play hopscotch in a minefield? Oh my god. I'm really waiting for something to be different. There it is. Monster. Monster. Sorry. Oh, hell yeah. Yes. Oh, was that a hand? I think so. Yes. Bobby, that scared the fuck out of me. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. And it's not even a part of the game. What the fuck? Ooh, this looks like the section when you're when you play Harry Mason in the first game. I don't know Silent Hill, I'm not gonna lie. I will fool you. What was that thing? I'm waiting for the two remake. Dude, I I I'm a, One I'm is a, impossible to find. It is, yeah. It's just, I don't know if they remade it. I'm in the studio. Like, I think the only remake that I'm aware of for one is uh, when they remade it for the Wii, and it was called Shattered Memories. That that was it. That's was that remember. one? Yeah. Technically, it, it it was it was. I would say it was both a remake and a retelling because there was different themes to it. Well, you could also kind of your decisions kind of mattered in that one, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teenage suicides continue at infamous building. A rundown apartment complex in Kattenstadt has become known for its suicides, with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite repeat events, the building, abandoned ever since the development slash management company declared bankruptcy, remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though, with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Security concerns. Concerns for security? Maya, too. She has been acting weird of lately. Oh, God. I just noticed that you can see reflections in the phone. Oh, that's so fucking terrifying! I can't read that. That's not in a language I know. Um, no, it's, it's, yeah. Cherry Blossom. Oh, hell yeah. Cherry Blossom's bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in. Then they fall. That's the price of it. Not Cherry Blossom's. I thought she was talking about 
death and new life and you cracking every bone <laughs> in your body. Like you're just the elbow. Monster. Just the elbow. That's how I want my life to be. Why are bad and not bad bitches as in like, oh she bad, but as in like creepy monster bitches named Lise. No, never mind. Why do their names start with L? Should be the question. Yeah. Because you saying that made me think of Laura from Evil Within. Oh my god. Yeah. And then we were talking about Lisa from PT earlier. Yeah. I think L is just a very, uh, I don't know, it's just a very evil letter. Apparently. It's the last letter of the word evil. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> we cracked the code. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very scared right now. Oh no, so scared. I'll hold you like, 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 Scooby Hole Check. So you were saying that you watch uh, Critical Role? Yeah, I love Critical Role. Have you been watching their current campaign at all? Uh, no, I need to get back into it. I've just been um, engrossed in audiobooks. And I'm in like lately. episode six. Well, I listen to it in podcast form while I'm at work. Oh. Um,. Because they, they have it as a podcast on, like, Spotify and Amazon Music and stuff. Gotcha. But um, but they start in, like, the middle of Campaign 2, because I think that's when Critical Role, the company, became a company. Right. Um, but I'm on episode, like, 60-something yeah. of Campaign 3, and they just introduced a new character who's, like, a very typical nerd. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risque selfies they posted online. They also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. That social media will do that to you. Yeah. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. Yeah, dude. Attention is a hell of a drug. Mm -hmm. The sense of fulfillment they experience after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing the, this toxic quest for validation. Yeah, it, it's, it's upsetting how some people will literally do uh, I don't want to go over there yet. You got it. I know. Got, no, 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 it's right there. Mm, not yet. It's right there. It's right there. Um, mm, I don't know which way is the right way to go. I'll go out the window. If you um, know that, you'd be all left. But there's a... There's a nerdy character now. His name's Bordor, and I love him. <laughs> uh... But he's, like, the typical kind of nerdy, kind of, like, socially awkward. Oh, the suicide spot. Oh. Oh. That's where they jump, I guess. I assume it's jumping. No, that's where I, I fill my cup. No, that's the where they stuff. land. That's where I fill my Sorry, that's such a shows. dark joke. That was... Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, Ow! Try to... Ooh. Okay, I'm good. Also but there's this character that's like, uh, um, like he got into a battle mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was like, and then you just start seeing this dark trickle down his pants. <laughs> Uh, and then, like, something else happened, and he was like, and then I think as my bonus action, um, I'm pretty sure I just throw up. <laughs> oh, my lord. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I, I plan on having many hilarious NPCs in the future. Oh, no, this is a playable character. Oh, is like, it I, really? Like, guest is on playing this character. Oh, that's fucking weird. It's exactly. even better. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for finally realizing it. Oh, now it's creepy? Not when the monster was chasing you? Yeah. The suicide monster? So I assume the monster is some sort of symbolism for suicide.
Parents would give me shit if I didn't come back from the breaks. Yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? Although, to be fair, there is a lot of social pressure about college. Yes, I think it is a, um, a status quo that needs to be broken. Honestly, because, and not even necessarily college as a whole, although I have my own thoughts about college as a whole as well, but the thought that you have to immediately, once you graduate high school, not only go to college, but know what you want to do yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Dude, my dad's 64 years old, and he still doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. Like, peeps just need to realize like, that it's not all going to be there for you after high school. Well, and not only that, but also you just finished your 12th year in a row of yeah. constant studying and pressure mm -hmm. and tests and all of that. And you have Give yourself now. a break. Yeah, good grief. Give yourself that time to really experience life and try to figure out what it is you yeah. want to do. Exactly. I know what I want to do. I don't know what the fuck I want to do before I get to that. Like, I, I've been thinking for the past couple of weeks, like, I kind of want to just travel. And I've never had that want or urge. But a part of me is just like, what if I just went to fucking Europe for a week? Go for it, man. Like, because I have a job now where I can take vacation and be paid for it. Exactly. So a part of me is just like, what if I just like pick an arbitrary date and hop a plane and take an Airbnb to England or France or yeah, yeah man, anywhere? Literally. If I do ever go to France, I want to learn more French though, because yeah. I don't remember my high school classes. <laughs> oh. Probably smart on Amelie. See, it's five forty-five. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Oh, oh. I am assuming that these texts... Now it's 546. I'm assuming these texts are either... Here are my two theories. Either these texts are coming in, like replaying her mind, or she is reacting to them as if it's happening in real time. Because that's the thing about Silent Hill, is it definitely plays on your... Um, your doubts, as well as your deepest sins, kind of. Um, let me bring up the actual, like, meaning behind Silent Hill, because it, 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 it can go all over the place. Um, hey, I did not want to look up tea, that's cool, forever. So you don't really like this place. Mm -hmm. I get it. Life. How long have we been gone? Like 35, 45 minutes, something like that. I don't know how long this is, so I don't know if this is a one-off or a two-off or... Okay, so according to executive producer Andrew Mason, Silent Hill... Oh, that's a film. No, what's the concept of Silent Hill? Bastard. I can't tell if we're dating Maya or not. What is the top Google search? People also ask, what the heck is Silent Hill about? Well, while you look that up, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and say, let's end this episode here. Well, we can start with it then. And in editing, if there's not much left of this game, I'll just put that in as one episode. Because, again, I don't know how long this is, but it does seem like it's a short, hour-long type of thing. And it was yeah. free. Yeah. So I can't imagine it's too long. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine So thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in. If you need help and don't have any friends to lean on or don't trust your friends to mm -hmm. be open with you, Call that 988 number or go to the website. Um, you're never as alone as you feel. Yes. And I can definitely say that from experience. I have felt very alone and then had friends be like, 
I'm, I'm actually here for you. And then when I did take that first step to reach out to them, they were actually there for me. And first step is always the scariest, but also sometimes the most important, usually the most important. Never be afraid. Never and if you are afraid, do it, do it afraid. Yeah. Do it anyway. Don't let the fear rule your life. Exactly. See you later, you fuckers. <laughs> it's a term of dear, man!